Good morning, folks. I appreciate you tuning in to the channel. It's a cold, late January morning. It's about 30 degrees. We're on my local home lake of Tim's Ford. We're going to go after smallmouth today. I'm going to try a couple of finesse techniques that are usually pretty good uh, at this time of the year when the water temperature is colder. Uh, we're up here on the uh, lower end of the lake where the water is clear. There's other ways you can catch fish right now, but I'm going to stick to my guns and try these two techniques and try to get a few fish on film for you. Let's go see if we can catch a fish. Guys, be sure and check out the description to this video for a list of the equipment and baits that I'll be using throughout the video. Also check out the links of partners with Gordon Petty Fishing. There's also a discount code for one of those links. There he is. Well, I lost the first fish of the morning. Doggone it. Guys, a lot of times with this technique, you won't feel the hit. Your, your line will just stop and it'll kind of get mushy and it'll usually go to one side or the other. And with using this light line, you can't just rear back and set the hook or you'll you'll break the fish off so you kind of just have to lean into them and i'm i'm sure i didn't get a good hook set on that fish right there being the first fish of the morning i'm timing is off a little bit but as you can see here guys we're on a I try to search out these 45 degree banks, at least 45 degree banks. And I am, I'm a casting distance off and I'm in 35 foot of water right here. But I'm just casting it out close to the bank. Sometimes they'll be right up on the bank. And when it hits the bottom, I'm just slowly reeling and I'm shaking my rod tip every now and then. And I'm trying to keep that bait just above the bottom most of the time. Every now and then I'll stop it to make sure I'm still close to the bottom. And then I'll start reeling it again for several feet and stop it. And a lot of times, if they don't hit it while you're reeling it, they're going to hit it on the fall. These smallmouth are, when they're in the feeding mode, they're usually very aggressive. So if you get around one, they will, they'll come and investigate. With this technique, I guess this is as close as you can get to live bait without it actually being live bait. These gulp minnows are, they have a lot of scent infused in them. And it's about as close as you're going to get to a, a live minnow. Feels like a decent one. There again, I, he just kind of picked it up and swam off with it. He's not a keeper, but he's a chunky little fish. 
he's not big, but I don't like boats slinging them with this. About lost my dip net. I'm glad it floats. I don't like slinging them with this light line because it don't take much of a nick to break one off. Got him right there in the corner of the mouth. Not a keeper, but a beautiful fish early this morning. On the gulp minnow. All right, let's let her go. That was almost a disaster. <sighs> Slow and steady is the name of the game with this technique. You just have to be patient. Once you figure out what depth most of the bites are coming from, you can kind of kind of concentrate on that area of the water column. And then you don't have to fish it as far out, possibly. There he is. Just coming up. That one just swam off with it. Pretty fish. You can see him down several feet. There he is. That one's close to a keeper. Hey, but as I always say on a day like today, they're all keepers. Just fell out. Yes, sir, look at that. Beautiful fish. That one's probably between 17 and 18. It might touch 18. It's a kind of a long, skinny fish. let her go thank you girl there she goes guys let me kind of show you a little bit about the equipment that I'm using here uh, the technique that I'm doing I don't know if I've mentioned it already but it's called tight lining. What I'm using here, I'm using a medium light six foot six Abu Garcia Vigilante rod. Uh, I'm using a Pissy Fun Flame 2000. I had a chance to get a couple of these reels at a very good deal. Uh, so I thought I'd try them out. So far I'm liking it, it's a very smooth reel. I'm using six pound test fluorocarbon and I am using an eighth ounce ball head jig and of course there I'm throwing a Berkeley Gulp minnow on it and I'm tying tying to the jig with a loop knot that's very important it lets your your bait move horizontally in the water and move naturally gives it more movement a lot of the guys over in East Tennessee I think they use four pound test line but I've kind of experimented and I like the six pound four carbon it's just a tad thicker in diameter but it gives me so much more sensitivity as, as to knowing when I'm bumping into things and and sometimes sometimes you will feel the bite but it just gives me a little more contact with the bait Another one. It's 
a little one. Just picked it up and swam off. I think I can boat, boat flip that one. Number 12, 13 incher. You were still fun. That fish was probably in about eight or 10 foot of water. I think about all of them this morning have been, been in that eight to 10 foot range so far. Yeah, as the water temperature is in the in the upper 40s, and that that's when this technique starts to shine. Is when the the temperature is pretty close in these parts to the to the coldest that it's going to get in the winter time. The mid mid 40s. I have seen, you know, temperatures in the low upper 30s occasionally here, but that's very rare. There he is. Well, that one was right up there close, too. That one was probably five or six foot deep. He's actually a little bigger than I thought he was. He's by no means a monster, but... On this light tackle, that's, that's fun. It's probably a 15, 16 incher. Tight line gulp minnow. Yes, sir. I'll throw her back. Thank you, girl. If I can make the right cast right here, I ought to get bit. Somewhere between here and that point. Uh, I called it. This is a decent fish right here. Get him down there in that clear water. Yes, sir. I had just got through saying if I can make the right cast, that's a keeper. If I can get him in the boat. Yes, sir. He's a skinny keeper, but he's a keeper. See him in the sunshine there. Right there in the corner of that mouth. Skinny, but probably probably 19 inches or so. Yes, sir. I will take it. Let's throw her back right here. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you cooperating today. All right. I got hung and popped it off. And he came and got it. I'm gonna 
boat flip that one. He's he's not huge. He's probably 15 though. Yeah, I got hung over there and was actually going after it and then I popped it one more time and it came off and I reeled it about twice and that one smacked it. Guys, the wind has gotten up terrible and I just had to kind of look for spots out of the wind so I could tell what I was doing. Well guys, that's going to wrap up another episode of Gordon Petty Fishing. I appreciate you tuning in if you've made it this far. I hope to see you on the water. And let's do it again next time. See ya.